Somebody asked me, what cards do I think that Wiccan would have a home for? It's obviously Wiccan's coming out this, um, what? He's coming out Tuesday. Basically his whole thing is, if you've spent all your energy this game, you get plus two max energy, right? So that's weird. So people are asking, where's he gonna be good at? And you know, like, is he gonna be good? L lots of questions, basically. I personally, the first card that comes to mind with Wiccan, um, and some people kind of said he probably won't be the best. And I was kind of thinking is potentially Havoc. So the whole thing with Havoc is that Havoc, um, after each turn, you lose one plus max energy um, and this game's plus four. So I think Havoc could do a really good job working with Wiccan. Um, obviously, if you're spending all your energy, um, let's say on turn four, because Wiccan is a four cost card, on, on turn four, you play um, you play Wiccan down. The next turn you play Havoc and a smorgasbord of other things. Well, then you're gonna have two plus energy. So on turn five, you're going to have six energy, which is good. On turn on turn six, you should still have six energy if you play all your energy. That is, you have to play all of your cards though. So you have to you have to do that. That seems like it'd be good now. I will say this with Havoc, it's always a little bit, it's always a little um, confusing exactly how um, he works because Havoc takes the energy each turn. If you have two of them, if you have two Havocs, then you're gonna lose two energy each, each game. But basically how Marvel Snap works is each turn you get plus one max energy, right? So it starts off with one energy, then the next turn they give you another one. Well, Havoc says, I'm taking that other one they're giving you. So it's, it's kind of like a math problem. It's each turn, it's plus one. Havoc adds in each turn minus one. Well, if each turn, so it's like basically plus one, minus one, they cancel out. That means you're gonna have the same amount of energy that you had when you started that turn. It basically takes it away. Wherever you're at, you're gonna be stuck there. If you have another Havoc, it's gonna make you go backwards. So if you have Wiccan, and you do the plus two max energy. I'm 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 more or less curious about Wiccan as in a sense of it says plus two max energy, but is that going to give me the plus two max energy for the rest of the game? Because if that's the case, then you don't even have to worry about spending all your your um points the next the next turn because Wiccan's giving you plus one, the game is giving you plus one, have it taken minus one you're already gonna be a, a step above. You're gonna be fine. You're gonna be good. So I feel like Wiccan is going to be, you're gonna get plus two for the rest of the game, you know? And that's an unreveal ability. So if you spent all your energy this game, plus two max energy. So it has to be, you have to have been doing that for the entire game. So somebody did just mention Quicksilver. You have to do this. You have to do this throughout the entire game. If you don't do it, then you're not gonna get what you want. So you have to spend all your energy. So I will tell you cars that won't be good with this is gonna be stuff like Hope, um, Electro, um, pretty much anything that's making you have to spend energy. So you're gonna really wanna have something like Havoc to make you get the extra energy. Now it's an on reveal. So it should be plus two for the rest of the game. So you should be fine. That's why Havoc's gonna be good with him. You don't have to do anything afterwards. It, it's, a, it's a one time plus two energy, you're fine. Um, if you wanna make this even cooler, and I'm just, I'm, this, this is just a suggestion. I don't know if this is gonna be the way you wanna do it, but you could also throw in cards like Wong. Um, Wong is a four cost card. Um, basically, I'm sorry, I forgot about this as well. Um, because there, there are more than just two turns. So you're gonna also wanna throw in Domino. Domino is gonna be a three cost card that you get every turn three. You know you got something to play on turn three. So Quicksilver, turn one, turn three. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry, turn two, Domino. Uh, domino always on turn two. I'm sorry, not turn three. So it goes Quicksilver, Domino. You hope you have a turn three card. If you have a turn three, then you're good. You know, you're you're fine. Now, um, Wiccan is a four cost card. You have to have you have to have a three cost card. If you don't have a three cost card, then it's obviously not going to work. But you're hoping you're going to get it. Um, we'll we'll look at some three cost synergies after this. But Wiccan obviously is going to come on turn um, 
four. If not, you can lay down Wong on turn four. And then on turn five, you play Wiccan. And I'm assuming that if you play Wiccan down on turn five, even if you don't spend all the energy on that turn, you should still get the buff of two plus energy. But in this case, you'll be getting plus four um, extra max energy for the rest of the game. Uh, even though it's only gonna be on that last turn, I don't even know if it's gonna be that worth it, but maybe you don't have Wiccan yet. If you don't have him, then it's kind of one of those things like uh, maybe I get Wonk on turn four and then on turn five, I get Wiccan. Okay, yeah, I can play him. But you can also just use him as an on reveal card too. I don't think it's gonna be that big of a deal. Um, afterwards, I do think it would be good to have cards like Sunspot, but Sunspot's gonna be bad <laughs> trying to play him early on because he's not gonna get any buffs until after you get Wiccan. But you could have that extra energy that could go to Sunspot, which would be nice. But I'm not gonna go ahead and say that he's like a shoe in to be like a really great addition into a deck like this because Sunspot is like what you hope you have early on and you, he soaks up the energy. So probably not gonna be that great with this. Um, someone is saying um, you could do Zabu or Psylocke for a turn three Wiccan. Um, that, that actually was a good idea too. That's a great idea. I am taking some of these, some of these suggestions from the chat. So if anybody has any ideas, I will, I will throw them. What's cooking, ugly looking. Oh, what's up lazy, how you doing? Um, so you can do things with Psylocke. So with Psylocke, you can get a turn three Wiccan and you get early plus two max energy, which is really nice. You go ahead and get this this um, this thing started pretty fast, uh, which is what you want. You want this out as fast as possible, you know? Um, and you can also do that same thing with Zabu if you like as well. So here's the thing, that's a lot of synergy, right? What are you gonna wanna do with this? Well, there's a few things you can do um, you can obviously go for a ramp deck. So you can look at the six drops. Um, there's plenty of six drops you want to throw out early. Maybe a Sandman ramp even, but I'm just going to look over a few of the six drops and kind of go over them. You can probably do stuff with obviously stuff like Magneto. Um, you can you can throw in um, She-Hulk if you want to. Have some... Um, once you get this all set off, then you can start doing she not stuff where you're soaking up energy with Sunspot. Then on the last turn, you're going for She-Hulk into Infinite, stuff like that. Uh, you can do um, Eliath. Uh, so many different options you got, man. Um, there's a ton of options. It really comes down to making sure that you do have Quicksilver and Domino so that you have a higher chance of having something to do on um, on on those uh later turns because you, once you you're, you're pulling in more cards so you know that you have a chance to get a three cost card and then hopefully get wicked so that's kind of what you want to do y'all think he won't work if you float a little energy if you float energy he will not work that is his main thing you have to have him you you have to yeah so we we need to have power um i i do think because um, <laughs> Havoc is a zero cost card, you could throw in Ravona and then go for like a Ravona Mystique and then um, Iron Man type deal. You can do that. I love doing Ravona, Iron Man and Mystique. Just, they're, they're just really great. They're really great cards to throw down. Um, and if you think about it with Havoc, every time he gets, every turn that goes up, he's plus four. But if he's on top of Iron Man or an Iron Man Mystique, then he's gonna be plus eight each single time, which is crazy. So yeah, um, but once you once you do that, you're good. Um, but you don't have to go for that. But I mean, Wong also is great with Mystique. And you can also throw in Odin and maybe go for some other stuff because you don't have to have this exact game plan, you know? Like we don't have to have Zabu and Psylocke, but it would make it work out. But you're gonna wanna have some some powerhouses too, right? So let's say we drop Ravona, we drop Iron. Well, we, I, I like keeping Iron Man, but we drop him just to, just to show you don't have to have those in there. You can definitely just go for some big power cards and go for like Eliath early. Like I said, She-Hulk, she stuff like Infinite, cause you're gonna have tons of energy. And at this point, if you get this far, if you wanna add another one drop, then I say, sure, go for Sunspot. You can lay down Sunspot and even throwing in Sunspot um, early sometimes can be okay. Because let's say for instance, you go for Sunspot here and you know you're gonna be soaking, right? 
fantastic. You're gonna be soaking energy up and you can play him on turn one, two, if you pull him before Quicksilver. And then on, when, when you have Quicksilver, you can hold on to him because on turn three, you have Domino. And then maybe on the next turn, you have to play something like, oh, uh, you, you didn't get what you needed yet for turn three. You don't have a three cost card, which we don't have one yet. So we might, I, might actually have to throw in a three cost card. I'm just thinking about that. Just building this deck out. You're probably gonna have to go with something like a uh, Quicksilver and a two drop, you know? Uh, if you maybe Quicksilver Psylocke, Quicksilver Zabu, you don't want to do Quicksilver Havoc because you won't have enough energy after that to play your your Wiccan. So you'll be Wiccanless. You'll be you'll be you'll be playing uh, Wickedly. So you don't want to do that. Uh, yeah, Ironheart can be really good. Uh, Namora stuff good too, especially if you're gonna be rocking the Wong. Um, and like I said, Wong is not really necessary, but it could come in handy because you want to have different play routes, right? When you're making the, when you're making a deck, so. You have Wong and Wong is gonna be there for when you um, when you don't have Wiccan in your hand and you can go for other plays. Um, you play Wong in the next turn, you can play um, Mystique and something else. I don't know, but having these big cards does help. If you want to, you can go for a, I, I mean, I wouldn't go for a high Evo deck necessarily. You could do that, but your Hulk is not gonna be getting any power because you're not gonna be not spending power. So probably not a really good move to make. Um, but you could go for a Red Hulk, which is more on your opponent to they, them having to spend all the energy, which that could work out too. But all in all, I do think Wick is gonna be a really cool card and have a lot of synergies with other things. Um, so all you really have to do is have this shell. Um, I do think Havoc's gonna be great for him because Havoc's a good card, but people just don't like playing him because of that energy consumption issue, right? But you can throw in Havoc and also throw in um well let's say let's say we get rid of these cards right here throw in havoc throw in iron man throw in ravona mystique you got lots of stuff going on go ahead and throw in iron heart as well that's a good card and also going to be discounted with ravona um you can get a lot of power with this um and if you do it early you can still throw in um odin for a last last ditch effort play um, and somebody mentioned Namora. You can do a Namora build with this as well, especially if you're having to play Quicksilver first and then you're having to play um, Domino and then you can play the rest of the cards in other locations and do what you need to do. Um, only problem with that is that it is a very restrictive uh, play style and it's gonna be a little bit convoluted, especially with having Wiccan. Like what's the point of having Wiccan, you know, cause you're not gonna be able to play Havoc anywhere unless you wanna play Havoc. Well, you can't even play him late. So you have to do it so. Memora probably wouldn't work out that well, but I do really like the idea of having the um, the deck that is that is just based around Iron Man and whatnot, making Havoc, Havoc decks a little bit better. You know what I mean? I think that'd be good. Maybe Agent Coulson, Nick Fury. You could do that too and throw in Quinjet, see how it goes. But when it all comes down to it, um, I think that those decks with um, Nick Fury, Quinjet, and whatnot, the RNG based on them, it's like you're just telling people just throw cards in the deck. You don't know what's going to happen. But I would say that if, if, if I was to make a deck, if I was to make a deck for Wiccan, this is what I would do. I'm definitely going to have in Sage. I'm going to keep these cards that I already have in here. Um, Sunspot, I'm going to drop just because I think it is a little bit more. What do I say? Um a little bit more situational and a little bit, you're really hoping that that's what you get. But we gotta have Quicksilver, we gotta have Domino. Um, and I think Havoc is a shoe in as well. Magic, just to keep the, the turns going. Cause that's a whole lot of po extra power on Havoc if you do that. Now we have Wong, we have Sage, but I'm also gonna throw back in Ravona, Iron Man. Mystique. <sighs> those are those are my cards that I'm really I would be really excited to play with. If you want to, this is this is where I would go after this. You can do Doctor Doom if you want to, but what I personally would like is you can go for a. Um, I was thinking about, think what's her name, Cassandra. Cassandra Nova, just because we need another, we need some three drops that we can drop down early because we might not always get what we need. And we need to, it's, it's the turn three that's gonna, that's gonna really suck for you. 
the turn three is really what's gonna suck i think that we can get a good amount of lateral power with all this right here i think we need zabu i think we need zabu because we want to we want to hope that we can get zabu or psylocke so we can get a wiccan now one of these cards is gonna have to be taken out regardless so because we have to put we have to have space for wiccan so something's gonna be gone and it's probably gonna be cassandra because we can either extend the turn on turn three and hope to get Wiccan on turn four, or we can play Zabu on turn three. Um, but either way, I, I like this build and I think dropping Cassandra is good. Basically it's this, and you can kind of choose around what you want to do. Yeah, Zabu to Wiccan would be good. Zabu into um, Wong is also okay. Cause imagine this, you Zabu, you Wong, and then you drop down Wiccan if you get him. Now you're gonna have plus four max energy throughout the game. And that is fantastic. You can obviously do some substitutions if you want to. If you don't wanna do the whole Ravona build with the Sage, the Iron Man and stuff, you can do that. Um, but I, I personally believe that this is gonna be a good deck for Wiccan. Um, if you wanna have some other big cards, you can. But I think this is good because you can definitely take the like, let's say we take these out. If we take all those cards out and even take out Wong because we don't need Wong anymore, right? I still think we're going to need a three drop besides magic, but you can go for some big cards. You can definitely do infinite. She Hulk. Um, let's see, because I'm, I'm just looking at big cards right now. Dr. Doom, just so you can have some extra energy. Now, the thing about it is you don't want to go too big. I would say drop in like one more big card and then call it because what, what, what will end up happening is you will have these big, you have so many big cards that you have a less of a chance of pulling the cards you need to actually get it, you know? You might never draw them, but that's the whole point of having all the other stuff. Yeah, you can do Red Hulk instead of, um, instead of Odin probably. Or maybe instead of Doctor Doom, you can you can pretty much pick and choose what you want in this case. Um, just get some get some power in there, right? There's there's no there's no wrong answers. Well, maybe maybe um Giganto might be, but yeah, that's about it though. Ultron maybe I don't know. It depends on how the meta's going because if everybody's still playing against one drops all the time, the meta's gonna still be crazy. People gonna be packing those Killmongers. Scar could maybe fit. Scar could Scar could be okay. Basically, on turn five, you're going to be able to play big ass cards, right? You have six energy, so why not? But I, I think that that's going to be kind of where you want to go when you have Wicked. There, there's lots of things that you can do with this card. There's a ton of things. I mean, um, but you the, the main things you're going to have to worry about doing is make sure you have Quicksilver and Domino and then some three drops to actually get you there. But I do think having the, I do think that the baseline is gonna be Quicksilver, Havoc, Psylocke, Zabu, uh, Domino. You're gonna wanna have those cards because that allows you to have that, you have a 5%, well, not even a 5% chance. You have about maybe, I'm, I'm just pulling a number out of my ass, maybe 20% chance of getting this um, these cards you need in your hand. Because basically, you know you're getting Quicksilver, you know you're getting Domino. Turn three is what you need to worry about. And if you get, if you end up getting Psylocke and you end up getting um, Zabu and Wiccan, then you're fine, right? So I think it's good. I think that's what I would go with. So, yep, I just, but I just want to break this down for you guys real quick.